Hello everybody, it is Clash's Gut here with part two on how to make a tank shooter game. So we left off last time here with our movable tank and its shooting mechanism. We'll continue today by making the AI enemies. So paint a new sprite and use the box tool to make a red square now go to the code and when clicked hide so this will now be our AI enemy when I receive setup repeat until Exit is bigger than nothing. Go to X, pick random, negative 220 to 220. Y, negative 220. Wait one second create clone of myself. Change that to two seconds actually. When I start as clone, show, repeat until, now I'm gonna click, right click on this and press duplicate. Repeat until exit bigger than nothing. Point towards sprite one, which is the tank, and move one step so let's try now our red little cubes which are the enemy will now come out and follow us but we have a bit of a problem here we can't kill the cubes with our cannon and they cannot damage us either so let's put in a repeat until touching sprite one to make the make it look better and then add in a if touching sprite two which is the bullet then delete this clay let's try now wait for the red things to come out oops missed there we go, it works. So now I can shoot and kill them. Still one thing, I cannot die yet. They can touch me as much as they want and I will still remain alive. So, have to go into the tank and make a block called test space dead and add it in under the move block. So define test dead. If, now we've got to make a new variable here called health. So set health to let's say 10. And we want to show variable health. So if health is smaller than one then set exit to die in all lowercase and then we want it to fade so repeat 25 change ghost effect by four we have to set we have to clear graphic effects at the start so here we want this to fade to if the tank is dead so when I start as clone forever if exit equals die 
then repeat 25 change ghost effect by 4 and you have to clear graphic effects when I start scoring. So we're on full health and we're just going to test if this works. These zombie cubes are coming towards us, well not zombies but anything you can call them really. And then they touch you but they don't do any damage which is our first little problem. So we have to go into here and have to make a block called do damage with a question mark. Okay, so we're going to put do damage here. Define do damage. So, if touching sprite 3, then change health oops by negative one however this will probably not work since these are clones and not the actual sprite so change touching sprite three to touching color let's see what color this is zero sixty a hundred touching color zero sixty uh, a hundred change health by one and wait one second oops there we go let's try now so touch it does nine eight seven six five four three two one and then zero they all fade pretty good now there's the problem here if one zombie touches it it does one damage per second however if five zombie touches it it still does one damage per second so we are going to move this block into sprite three and then remove these so do damage except we have to change that to if touching sprite one now i have to put this do damage script here let's try oops yep yeah. I forgot something we cannot do this here as that will not work so when I start as clone forever do damage so put a wait 0 0.1 seconds here there we are Nine. Right, now let's test if two touch me at the same time Oh, they both do damage? Yes, they both do damage, which is good. And then they all fade. Now, see this health is still going down. So, we want to clone to, instead of doing this as forever, we want it to repeat until duplicate that oops exit bigger than nothing do damage and then after the tank dies we want to set its health back to 10 so let's try this now okay so these sprites aren't spawning because of this little script here so to actually make them spawn we've got to change something over here okay so 
when I start as clone forever. That's it. Aha! There we go. They're coming out now. Eight seven six five four three two one zero. And now, when it starts at zero, stops at zero, it does not do any more damage to the tank. So now, the tank can shoot at these. Oh, we got something here wrong again. Why aren't these spawning? So wait, zero point zero one seconds, and then. Oh, okay, there we go. They're coming out again. So we can destroy them with our cannon. And they can also damage us. So, pretty good. Now, that is pretty much all for this video. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video, How to Make a Tank Shooter Part 3. Thank you for watching with Clash's Gut and see you next time.